Here we go again. Hey man, let me get a swig. Hey, what you waiting around for? Damn. What you want? What you need? It's hot as hell in this crib. I blame society. Do your shower in doo doo. Damn. Do any of these doors work? Get your hands off me, Buster. For sure. Hell yeah. Looks like I finally made it to the stoop. What kind of beat should I make today? I want to make a West Coast beat. But what kind of West Coast beat should I make? Should I do old school G-Funk? Or maybe do a little bit of modern West Coast? Choices, choices. I think this is what we gonna make today for sure. Now before I cook up today, I must make a boomer disclaimer. In the past, when I made West Coast beats on this channel, I was a little bit biased. You see, the West Coast hip hop that I grew up on were by the legends like Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, The Dog Pound, DJ Battlecat, DJ Quick, E-40, Warren G, Ice Cube. And even when I started making music, there were artists like The Game, Kendrick Lamar, YG, Problem, Nipsey Hussle that I felt continued this West Coast tradition. So of course, whenever I thought about the sound of the West Coast, I immediately gravitated towards G-Funk bass lines, bright synthesizers, and electric pianos over heavy drums. But <laughs> whenever I made those beats, the homie Epic would always remind me how outdated they sounded. Old family reunion at the Sloss and Swap Meet type beat. Wow. Old, I'm making beats for my gangbanging uncle ass. Bro, come on now. <laughs> oh. What I failed to recognize is that there's a new generation of listeners that think of an entirely different sound when you mention West Coast hip hop. You might hear names like O3 Greedo, Blueface, Compton AV, OGZ, AD, Peso, Stupid Young, Ralphie the Plug, and of course, the late trendsetter, Draco the Ruler. All of these artists have a unique rhythm and cadence to their lyrics that are matched with some of the most hypnotic and bouncy beats in hip hop right now. Some of my favorite producers of this style are Jug Season, Bruce 24K, Ron Ron the Producer, and Cypress Moreno. And that's the type of West Coast beat that I want to make today. Tempo set at 94 beats per minute. Here we go again. Let's cook. First instrument is a preset called Chinese banjo, banjo. courtesy of the plug-in masses. Next, we got two dark and spooky pads. The first one is a preset from Analog Lab 5 called Aryan Glade. And the second pad is a spooky little preset from Etherreal Earth called Foggy Choir. We got a Keyscape preset called LA Custom 7, Softest. Now, let's add this little grimy bass from Mini Monster called Solid Bass. Something hypnotic in the background, so I'm adding this Middle Eastern instrument called a Canaan via contact. For the drums, we need a thumpy little 808, a knocking kick, a short release clap, some open and close hi hats, and of course, some rim shots. Last but not least, we gotta really give it that modern West Coast energy. So we need to add some not so random sound effects from Splice. Specifically this laser zap, this heavy stomp, this classic West Coast Vox, a flexitone, 
and this random bed creak from. Hey, what it is? Oh, What's up? I fall out that ass in the mall. You need to leave. Check your home, let your juggle my oh yeah. And at last, the final beat. Music. I push myself to get better, and I get to add something new to my bag. I like it. Hey, by the way, if there's a style of music that you want to see me make on this channel, leave it down below in the comments. Peace.